welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I might de expose one. Let's crack into another one. Uh, TNT. Yo. Uh, I saw something online, and I don't know where I saw it because so <laughs> so uh, truth enough. not facts, and but whatever. And what it said was that uh, it was like a fox begging for food at the back door of somebody's house. Oh yeah. And the, what they said was that. Uh, zoologists believe that foxes are trying to learn domesticated behavior because they're tired of like searching for food in the wilderness. So my question to you was, would you buy a fox if they were domesticated pets? Would I buy a fox? Yeah. Would you have a fox? So I don't know if you've ever, uh, like heard the noise that foxes make when they make noises. What does the fox say? But they make a noise like it's all right. Look, man, I can't, I can't, I can't, man. I try. It is, it is literally like it is like the most annoying noise I've ever heard in my life. And they're cute animals, do, but the noise is a little annoying. Like there's a reason that we already have not domesticated foxes. Dogs are annoying as well, but a fox, whenever they're happy. And like being <laughs> being petted, and they're just like in a state. Like their of... purring is like annoying. Yeah, you just want to like kick and, it around and see. And and honestly, it speaks to like evolution to a sense because if you have behavior that is like uh, preferred by humans, you're going to be adopted. That's why we adopted cats because purring was like, oh, this is a this is this it's is like a... a calming thing. It's like yeah. it's just like a. Yeah, it's like a light, it's, like... It's calming for the animal, and it's calming for me as well. Dogs, similar, you know? They, like... Yeah, like when they bark their heads off and ruin everything? Yeah, that's barking great. is helpful because it's a warning sign. Do fox do that? No, they f- can run for the door. They run, dude. That's what foxes do. If they're in danger, they run. Dogs, they stand and fight. There is... Cats, cats don't stand and fight. No, cats don't stand and fight either. They're just cute. That's what you can't get past the cuteness factor is crazy. That's why that's why we're trying to keep pandas alive, but the dodo is extinct. You know, Man, <laughs> why, is that, why is everybody hating on the dodo? Because <laughs> they were delicious and pandas are cute. Um, but yeah, there's actually been uh, been tales of like uh, using dogs for hunting, using dogs for security of of tribes where they keep dogs and uh, and they use them when they're hunting with like obviously primitive weaponry and these dogs they take like they take battle damage during because they're hunting like dangerous creatures like tigers or like gorillas or whatever right 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 right. but these tribes use and these dogs have a community and the dogs absolutely love it because they're in their natural habitat man dogs dogs are adaptable to whatever you you put a dog in a household in the suburbs dog knows what to do you put a dog in the jungle Get the dog long enough, dog is gonna know what to do, you know. Right, right. No, they're very adaptable. So they can be I, like hunters, or they can be like just like hanging out. I don't know if foxes are on that point, but the fact that you say they're attempting leads me to think that they have some level of intelligence. Maybe it's just a uh, hungry or, fox. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He just wants food. This is this is what you picked out. It's, just, it's, just, it's like, oh man, I'm hungry. He just goes up to the door and waits for food. So hungry fox. I mean, that's big facts. That's 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 very true. Just, <laughs> Animals yeah. do be hungry. Yeah, they do be that. So I don't know if you're watching on on the YouTube, but like it was a it's a live stream of cats, and there's all these cats doing stuff. It's just like zoomed in on a sleeping cat, and it it's adorable. That's all. Cats are cute, man, and that's why cats are have been in the household. Now I've seen some of the videos. Have you ever watched any of like the Fox Reserve? There's one lady that does it. What she's like the fox whisperer? Yeah, she's like a fox whisperer. Uh, she's you know a uh, young lady, probably in like her twenty mid twenties. Uh, she just loves the fox, and she works as at a fo- she works at a fox sanctuary. A lot of the foxes have like mixing. She don't limbs. give a fox. <laughs> yeah, she they have no like fox <laughs> missing limbs and stuff. She's and, missing limbs. No, the foxes are. Oh, it's like one of those. And when foxes get excited, they pee all over the place, similar to what dogs, but dogs are trainable. I just don't know if foxes are. So would I have? a pet fox answer to that question is no jonas i'm not having a pet fox next question. have you ever had a weird pet <laughs> no really none nothing no how about you i'm not talking about me we're talking, talking about, about you, you now. you just have fish that's it 
I don't know. I had a dog. Once? Yeah. Do you want to talk about him? His name was Zimba. He was a Shepherd Rottweiler mix. Uh, I later in life asked my mother what happened to the dog, and she said that he peed on the carpet, so she got rid of him. I don't know what that meant exactly. Took that to heart in my later in life, and I was like, Ma, what do you mean by that? And she was like, I took him away. She didn't really, she didn't really elaborate on it, but you know, she. The, when I was a kid, they told me that he went to go help, like injured, <laughs> injured. <laughs> He's on a rescue mission in Switzerland. Yeah, he went to help injured kids at a hospital or some shit. She uh, told me. I, was, I had a dog growing up, and you? it ran away. Wait, when, a, nah, honestly, I did not know this. You had a dog growing up. Yeah. Are you serious? I did. Like when I was I'm engaging like, with this because like the first memory of my life there was a dog. Motherfucker, tell me what your dog's name was. Ziggy. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. I edited the first one, but this one's coming out. <laughs> what the hell? You had a dog named Ziggy? Yeah. Zig what kind of dog was your dog was like named Ziggy? He was just a mutt. What yeah, what do you what do you resemble though? Uh I don't know. Like a like it, it, he like had like floppy ears like a beagle, but he was but he wasn't a beagle. <laughs> he wasn't. Uh, I actually have a scar on my hand from him, because when I was a kid and like I was still like young enough to carry around like a blanket, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Uh -huh. Um, I was like I was playing with the dog with the blanket and I was whipping it around and I hit him in the face and he bit my hand. Um, and I still have a scar. I can still see it on my hand from him. And this happened when I was like five or six years old. Mm -hmm. And uh. He ran away one day and he got hit by a car. Damn! And he was—he didn't die, but he was never the same again. He's like—I he, remember like when he we fa somebody called because they found him. He had, he had a caller, and we went and got him, and he brought him home. And then he would just like stand in the corner and stare at the wall, <laughs> like it was weird. And like we had to put him in laughing because of the tragedy. It's like that laughing with the not funny thing. Oh my god. Keep going. And you wonder why I don't want pets. Wait till I get into the other story. Uh, so, and he was, so like we ended up having to put him down. It was very sad. Oh my down. god! And then and then we had another dog that we got for a short amount of time. We like a friend had him, and like then he like he like ate all of our shoes. Our shoes. He, he ate was, your shoes. He was not housebroken. He fucking tore up our shoes, and we got rid of him. Okay. And then we had some cats, and like, what I, was that? What was that dog? I don't remember even though what that dog. We didn't have him long enough for him to even like. All but right. he came they, in. He was like, he was a terror. That's why we got rid of him. But we had a cat named Aja. She was a calico. Aja. Okay. Uh, she hated everyone except my mom. Uh, uh -huh. and like we had her forever for like ten years or something. And she, but I had a cat, huh. an orange tiger cat, uh, named Woody. And uh, I remember this cat. I don't know if you ever. I don't know if you ever. I saw feel this. like I met this cat. One no, time. I had. I had. A, I, had other, I. I only have really owned orange tiger cats. So you probably had another. Cat. Okay. So I had that <laughs> cat. I got him when I was a kid. <laughs> and then like my mom had him. And when my mom moved to Minnesota, she gave him with my grandma. The cat. That cat lived to be like 16 years old or something. Oh okay. yeah. It was like a big old loopy. Like yeah, it was a great cat. Cool, um, cool, just cool. lived to get be old. I had, uh, we had like one other cat that ended up having like that feline leukemia stuff. We had to put it down. Yeah, um, yeah that happens. It's and then, uh, when I was a, a grown, a grown person, I had, <laughs> I had, I went and got <laughs> one time I went and got two cats from the APL at the same time. I got two orange tiger cats. Really? I brought them home and the, literally the second I put them in the house and the door opened, the one ran away. Like it was, I, it was in my house for eight minutes. And like I never saw it again, and then I had an, the other one. It I, ran away like outside. Yeah, as soon as as soon as like I, it must not have been at the shelter long because literally the the like I brought him in the house. The second the next person came over, he ran out the door and never came back. Huh. Like it like one of them. Okay. And then the other one I had for a while, and it ended up running away too. Like I don't like getting cats from. That's the other reason I don't like getting cats from the pound is because like. They tend to run away because they were either street cats or yeah, they're, no, they're used, not at they're home. They're used to that lifestyle, right? So then I got another orange tiger cat and I named him Kitty. That's the cat that you probably knew. Okay, yeah, I do. Okay, I remember the name Kitty. Yeah. So, um, but then he ended up. <coughs> I had him for a while. Then he ended up. Uh, he started having seizures, and he had like something stupid, like twenty six seizures in a week. 
like I, he started having seizures. I took him to the vet. They gave me this medicine I had to give him. And he was like, if the medicine doesn't help, we got to put him down. But during that week, he had like 26 seizures or something. And I, he would like wake me up in the middle of the night and I'd have to like hold him down and shit. Like to like, so he didn't like, cause he ripped his toenails out. Like, cause he would be seizing and he rip, he ripped like three of his p claws out in the carpet because they'd get caught and he'd be flailing around so he'd wake me up in the middle of the night sleeping and i would have to like hold him down until he stopped and then i ended up putting him down and that's the last cat i owned so when you pressure me to buy a cat that's the last experience that i had with a cat and but i'm open to having another one so that is my pet trauma episode oh my god i mean look i'm gonna keep it a buck i didn't realize that you had such a like a past that was integrated with pet ownership. Oh yeah, like I had pets from like the time I was a kid until I was like 25. Like honestly, I've had like one dog that I remember in my life. I've been told there was another one, but I don't remember it at all. And uh and fish. And, yeah, and I've yeah. had some fish, I had some hamsters, I had uh what the hell? I had a ferret for a minute. What the f what? I had a ferret for a little bit. What was the ferret's name? Uh I God, what do we call him? I don't remember because I sold it to uh, to Todd. And I remember when he had the ferret. And then it ran down the steps and got hit by a car. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was my ferret. I bought oh, the ferret. Oh, like honestly, now I'm like having flashbacks. That's crazy. Yeah, I remember and, the story. And then I had uh, and then I've had like lots okay. of fish at different times. I had a big giant Oscar. I bought an Oscar when it was like the size of a fifty cent piece, and it grew to like the size of a dinner plate almost yeah. like it, and then the tank was too big too small yeah. and i didn't want so i sold i sold it back to the oscars are fun man because oh dude do. i love fish and eat other fish yeah because they eat other fish and then they just get big and then you get to see they get them mad. get healthy they get mad they as get fuck. pissed yeah dude. like uh then i had territorial um, i also had um frogs the frogs that would eat fish like that like the african frogs that are like dyed like pink when they're small and then they grow and they get really they'll literally get is they will gorge themselves until they die they will get huge like they literally say do not take and put this in a river because they will just like eat everything and become super invasive um what else have i had i've had a lot of pets man like you've I've, had a lot of pets i did not realize yeah. and you've gone without one for 20 years not quite an extended period of time. Yeah, because I like not you having responsibility. Cat. You had that cat. What was the cat's name? Kitty. Yeah, no, the other one, the one when you were uh, when you were indisposed, married. <laughs> oh, oh! I don't remember the cat's name. But then, but dude, okay, I didn't. I, I, I try to be cool. And we got to wrap. It's fine. It's it, fine. It I, is. I did. Like one time I went out with my buddy to the bar to drink and my yeah, yeah, ex-wife yeah. and uh, stepson went to the pound and got a cat that day. And that cat was actually pretty cool. He liked me a lot. Like mm -hmm. me and that cat vibed. He was I cool. like that cat. That too. was a cool cat. I like that. And cat. then, and then my one day I said, oh, where, God, what the fuck was his name? I have, I'll have to ask my I just husband. remember you calling him kitty all the time. I call cats kitty all the time. <laughs> but he had a name and, uh. I call him cat cat what the fuck and uh and i was like and then i was like hey what happened to the cat and she's like oh i gave him away and i was like <gasps> you didn't, i was like you didn't even ask me if i wanted now i couldn't have taken the cat because that's when i was living in a room like so i couldn't have brought an animal there but i could have been like i could have found someone to watch the cat for like three months until i could have got my own place because i oh probably my... would have taken that cat that cat was cool oh my god yeah i don't remember his name though she gave him away to like somebody she worked with daughter yeah, or something. Yeah, so it was yeah, so I mean yeah. it wasn't like she just gave him to whatever, but, but still I was like, that was half my cat. You didn't even ask me if I wanted it. Half my cat. So Yo, the anything. fact that you would have actually kept the cat. I probably would have. If like who if knows? she would have been like, I'm getting rid of the cat, do you want him? I probably would have been like, Can we figure something out for a couple months till I get my own place and then I'll take the cat? Like I probably would have. Yeah. So Aww. anywho. But yeah. So I have to ask them what the name of the cat was. I wonder if they even remember. Anywho. This, Honestly, after this, Jonas, I'm sorry. I kind of want to pressure you to get in catty. <laughs> it's going to get you. Because I heavy. know you truly love it. I do. I like cats. Oh, I like animals, oh, man. God. I don't want to cry, dog, but I'm I want gonna, I want cat. I'm going to cry. I got to find the right cat. So all right. Um, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.